friends, welcome! I'm Mrs. Erbach, and this is Charlie. Thank you for joining us today. Do you see the quilt on the wall behind me? This quilt is a little different than some of the ones we've seen before. This quilt has a lot of pictures in it, doesn't it? Do you see some pictures of animals in this quilt? What animals do you notice? There are several, aren't there? I see a bear and fish and an elk or moose and a deer. And do you notice some other pictures in the quilt? What's something you might ride out on the river or on the lake? Right, a canoe. And do you see some houses or cabins? And the moon and some stars and trees. There's a lot in that quilt, isn't there? That quilt is called Family Cabin. And doesn't it just look like it's waiting to live in a cozy cabin up in the mountain somewhere? Most of the quilts that I show you are made from cotton, and that is a special type of cotton called flannel. And flannel is a really soft, cozy material that's sometimes used to make warm things like pajamas or a shirt or even another blanket. You might have a blanket that's made of flannel. Well, that quilt for the family cabin is made of flannel and it makes it extra warm and cozy. Well, those two words, family and flannel, introduce us to our letter of the day. Today's letter is the letter that makes the sound at the beginning of both of those words. If you know what letter that is, go ahead and say it. I'm gonna write it here. Did you guess F? Very good, this is the letter F. This is a big F. And this is a little F. And F makes the sound Can you say that? Good. Doesn't really make a lot of sound, right? But it's pretty important. If you were going to make an F with your body, how might you do that? Go ahead and try right now. And can you say the sound it makes while you do it with your body? Good job. I'm proud of you for trying. Let's put our F up on the quilt behind us. Oh, and it's time for I spy. I spy something that starts with the letter F. And I'm going to let you guys find it. There might be more than one thing on here. Can you see anything that starts with the letter F? Perhaps something that is green and hops. Did you find a frog? Good job. Did you find anything else that starts with F? I see some people doing something that starts with F. Do you see them fishing? Good job. And on the end of the fishing pole is a fish. Fish starts with F. Good job. How about on this side? There's an animal that does not start with the letter F, but it does something that starts with the letter F. These are birds, and what do birds like to do? Fly, good. Fly starts with letter F. Good job. Let's sing our ABCs together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Well, our story today is called Magic Fish. 
You hear the F in fish. This story is by Freya Littledale. Oh, the author's name has an F in it too. Do you hear that? Freya. And the pictures are by Winslow Penny Pels. And sometimes my eyes need a little help to see, so I'm gonna give them help with my glasses today. Once upon a time, there was a poor fisherman. He lived with his wife in an old hut by the sea. Do you see his fishing nets? And he's got a dog. Let's give the dog a name that starts with the letter F. What's a name you can think of that begins with F? That's a good name. Okay, that'll be the dog's name. Every day he went fishing. One day, the fisherman felt something on the end of his line. He pulled and he pulled and up came a big fish. Put me back in the water, said the fish. I am a magic fish. I am really a prince. Well, said the man, if you are a prince, I will put you back in the water. And he did. Oh, that was nice of him. That night, his wife asked him, why didn't you catch any fish today? I did catch a fish, said the man, but he was a magic fish. He said he was really a prince, so I let him go. Silly man, said his wife, why didn't you make a wish? Go back to the fish. Tell him I wish for a pretty house. Why, asked the man. Never mind why, said his wife. Go back and tell the fish I want a pretty house. I don't want to go, said the man. Go, said his wife. So the fisherman went back to the sea. The fisherman called, Oh, fish in the sea, come listen to me. My wife begs a wish from the magic fish. What does she want? asked the fish. She wants a pretty house, said the man. Go home, the fish said. Now your wife has a pretty house. So the man went home. The old hut was gone. Now there was a pretty house. Isn't that a pretty little house? Would you enjoy living there? I think I would. This is very nice, the fisherman said to his wife. We will be happy here. We shall see, said his wife. The fisherman was happy. His wife was happy too. She was happy for one week. Then she said to the man, go back to the fish. Tell him I want more than a pretty house. I want to live in a castle. Why? asked the man. Never mind why, said the woman. Go back and tell the fish I want a castle. But I don't want to go, said the man. Go, said his wife. So the man went back to the sea. The man called, Oh, fish in the sea, come listen to me. My wife begs a wish from the magic fish. Well, asked the fish, what does she want now? She wants a castle, said the man. Go home, the fish said. Now your wife has a castle. So the man went home. The pretty house was gone and there was a castle. Wow, that would be nice to live in too. This is a beautiful castle, said the fisherman to his wife. We will be happy here. We shall see, said his wife. The fisherman was happy and his wife was happy too. She was happy for two weeks. Then she said to the fisherman, go back to the fish. Tell him I want to be queen of the land. Why, asked the fisherman. Never mind why, said the woman. Go back to the fish and tell him I must be queen of the land. I don't want to go, said the fisherman. And what's the wife say? 
Yep. Go, said the wife. So the man went back to the sea. The man called, Oh, fish in the sea, come listen to me. My wife begs a wish from the magic fish. Well, said the fish, what does she want this time? Ooh, look at the fish's body language. Do you think he's happy that the man's back asking more for his wife? I don't think he's happy. She wants to be queen of the land, said the man. <sighs> Go home, said the fish. Now your wife is queen of the land. So the fisherman went home. His wife was in the castle. She was sitting on a throne made of gold and she wore a dress made of gold and a crown made of gold. So, said the man, now you are queen of the land. That is a fine thing to be. At last we can be happy. We shall see, said his wife. And the fisherman was happy. His wife was happy too. How long do you think the wife is going to be happy this time? The first time when she got the pretty house, she was happy for one week. And then she got the castle and she was happy for two weeks. Now she's queen of the land. How many weeks do you guess she'll be happy for? I have that same guess. I guess she'll be happy for three weeks. Let's find out. She was happy for three weeks. Good guess. Then she said to the fisherman, go back to the fish. Tell him I want to be more than queen of the land. Tell him I want to be queen of the sun and the moon and the stars. But why? asked the fisherman. Never mind why, she said. Just go back to the fish. Tell him I want to be queen of the sun and the moon and the stars. I don't want to go, said the man. The fish will be angry. And what does she say? Go, said the wife. So the man went back to the sea. He called, oh, fish in the sea, come listen to me. My wife begs a wish from the magic fish. Oh, look at this picture of the fish. Do you think he's happy? I don't think he's happy either. What is it? Said the fish. She wants to be queen of the sun and the moon and the stars, said the fisherman. No, said the fish. She wants too much. She cannot be queen of the sun. She cannot be queen of the moon and the stars. Now, she must go back to the old hut. Uh-oh. So the fisherman went home. The castle was gone. The old hut was back. And his wife was inside. And there they are to this very day. What do you think about that story? Do you think maybe the wife was getting a little greedy? Yeah, you'd think she could have been happy with that pretty house and certainly with the castle. But sometimes we think that more stuff is going to be the answer and more stuff doesn't make us happier. If we decide we're not going to be happy, we're not going to be happy. The way to be happy is in here, right? It's not the stuff. I've got a couple of fun songs for us today. This first one is called First. Do you hear that? For first. <laughs> This first one is called Fly Me to the Moon. Do you hear F in one of those words? Which word? Fly, good job, fly me to the moon. And this is kind of a jazzy song, so I'm gonna keep a little rhythm with my snapping. You could do that, or you could clap, or you could tap something, tap your chest, tap a knee. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. 
In other words, darling, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. I need my cowboy hat for this next song. I always like an excuse to pull out my cowboy hat. And if you have a cowboy hat or something that makes you feel kind of like a cowboy, uh, go ahead and run and grab it. Something that makes you feel like you want to go play outside, maybe ride a horse. We can wait. Go ahead and grab your hat. I will grab Charlie. Because this is also a good song for dogs. Because it's all about wide open spaces. And cowboys like wide open spaces. And dogs like wide open spaces to run too, don't they? You ready? Here we go. Oh, I should tell you the name of the song. It's called Don't Fence Me In. Do you hear the F in which word? Don't fence me in. Fence, good job. Oh, give me land, lots of land under starry skies above. Don't fence me in. Let me ride through the wide open country that I love. Don't fence me in. Let me be by myself in the evening breeze. Listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees. Send me off forever, but I ask you please. Don't fence me in, just turn me loose. Let me straddle my old saddle underneath the western sky. On my cayuse, let me wander over yonder till I see the mountains rise. I want to ride to the ridge where the west commences. Gaze at the moon till I lose my senses. Can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences. Don't fence me in. Isn't that a fun song? Perfect for a cowboy or a dog. <laughs> well, I had a lot of fun with you today. Thank you for giving me a opportunity to wear my cowboy hat. I hope you'll listen for words that start with the letter F as you go about your day and you can point them out as you hear them. Well, it's time for us to say goodbye. So hold out this arm and wrap it across your body and hold out this arm and wrap it around the other way and give yourself a great big hug because you are special and you are loved. <laughs> goodbye.